Hello, so I am so very excited. Um, I got my magnesium and my uh, Gymnema Sylvester and I'm just, I'm so ready. <laughs> so basically what the magnesium is supposed to do, it balances out your hormones. It allows you not only to make the right amount of progesterone and testosterone. For women, we make like just like a small amount. Like it, it will like spike around our period. That's when like we'll get um, acne. But also if you're making too much estrogen, it'll help you make like just the right amount. So everything is like a balancing act. Um, if you have hormonal acne, then this would obviously be for you also it um with magnesium supplementation it like increases your serotonin which i did not know that completely um so this is something that's really big for people who have depression or if you have anxiety this will keep you calmer longer um the information on what it does for people who have depression is like incredible like there's a lot of just information that um, people say like it really really does work and also drum roll um it helps you make more glutathione so it is not the same as you supplementing glutathione but basically it allows your body to recycle the glutathione you already have keep it longer but also build um even more and it helps with the um like the free radical defense so you're not using up your glutathione i was reading one article and it was just like if you're supplementing glutathione, you definitely should be taking some magnesium because most of us are low in magnesium. So I don't want to say we're mostly deficient, but about 80% of us are, have low magnesium and then the rest of them, like the rest of the people are actually deficient in it. So I think uh, mostly for people who are deficient in it, like there are some telltales. Um, one is actually like um, if you have your natural nails, you'll notice they'll always kind of split like um you can't keep your nails strong and healthy even if you're already on other vitamins that help with it well the other vitamins probably don't also have magnesium in it and so magnesium is like that missing link um another thing i wrote these down for me i'm doing it for my acne and um yeah i'm hoping to balance out my hormones uh, the natural way and uh, so yeah if you have muscle spasms that's a sign of low magnesium if you're having um, headaches if you feel like fatigued and weak even after like just doing like a light workout or if you have like um, anxiety or feel like edgy so for the edginess or just feeling anxiety the best explanation I saw for that was like if something like you losing your wallet like really really just like stresses you out and like just throws off the rest of your day even after you found it or or maybe if like having like a disagreement this could be like with your spouse or with your boyfriend and it's not even that big of a deal but you find yourself like holding on to it like longer than you probably should um just that type of thing i didn't know but that could also show that you have a magnesium deficiency um just because magnesium is so important in balancing out your hormones and um, making more serotonin and so if you're not able to make enough serotonin if you're not able to balance out for women we have to balance our estrogen our progesterone and our testosterone and obviously there's times like during our period where some things will spike we'll have more testosterone um, or we'll have estrogen spikes um, people with pcos i believe they have uh, their estrogen dominant if you're eating a lot of soy then um, that mimics estrogen there's different types of herbs on the market that also will mimic estrogen and so even if you had the right balance after you take that like it'll kind of you know throw things off a bit so there's a lot of reasons to need to take something to help balance this all out um if you're someone who can use hormonal birth control then this is like you know one of the best ways but if you're like me and you have um, bad side effects like constant bleeding on hormonal birth control um or if you have maybe suicidal thoughts depression when you're on this then obviously you have to look for more natural ways and so that's why i'm trying it out and so i actually i was going to order it from amazon but um i found this at walmart and so I was just like, oh, I want to get it now instead of waiting for it to come in the mail. And so I think the next one I order is going to be from Amazon because even though this was like almost $6, it's like it's only 100 capsules and they're only 100 milligrams per capsule. So on Amazon, you get more capsules, but also it's like a higher dosage. And so for this, I'll be taking 400 milligrams. That seems to be a pretty good starting point. If you look online, it's going to say for women around like 300 to 310. But out of like a lot of the articles I've read, um, and then not only that, but like reviews of people actually using it 400 seems to be about like the magic number and so that's about 200 milligrams in the morning 200 milligrams at night 
Also, I found, um, you know, some people, if you have like IBS or something like that, this can help you a lot. So for some people who take too much magnesium, it can have type of like a laxative effect. So I was like, okay, how does this help for people who have like Crohn's or IBS? And um, I don't know, it's something about balancing out the chemicals and things going on in there, um, but it can help. Um, also for people who have chronic constipation, there are like three different types of magnesium. Magnesium citrate, I would recommend, that's one I'm gonna use because out of my research, I found that it's great for people who have acne, hormonal acne, but also magnesium citrate is usually used for people who have like um, constipation issues. So if you're not able to naturally just have a bowel movement every single day, or if you feel like when you are having your bowel movement, it's not releasing all of the waste out, like maybe you feel like you have some more, but it just won't come out, then magnesium citrate would probably be the best for you. I think we've talked about what happens when your bowels and everything aren't regular. You're not able to take a number two every day, how that will make whatever supplement you're taking, it won't absorb. Um, as effectively as it you know normally could so even for glutathione or any other supplement that you're taking also this is a huge issue is that when we're getting rid of our waste that's like all of the toxic stuff and um you know just all the crap that's in our food that's just the way of our body getting it out of like our bloodstream but if you have like waste compacted in your intestines and you're not able to move it all out then what happens is that all of those toxins are reabsorbed into your blood and so this basically will use up your glutathione and use up any vitamin C that you're using. And so when you're keeping things regular, like it's really, really, really important. I feel like we should do an entire video just on poop because um, it's like really, really important for people who are skin lightening. Um, I think my first year skin lightening, I was doing a lot of coffee enemas and you don't have to do a coffee enema because coffee enemas are pretty are pretty serious um, you can just do like a regular distilled water enema but doing that I think that's why I had such great results with the amount of glutathione I was making because not only was it getting out all of those old toxins but also it was stimulating my body to make even more glutathione and so um, I just highly recommend you look into that if it's too much for you because it is you know pretty serious um it is a way to detox your body and so your first couple times you might kind of feel a little woozy kind of like oh i have a stomach ache while you're releasing all of the um you know the compacted waste that's you know sometimes can stay in certain areas of your intestines for months and so it's just really 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 helpful so if you are on um, glutathione right now and you're feeling like i don't i'm not getting like as quick results as you want i would highly recommend um flesh out your system and maybe start doing that maybe once or twice a week you can do it more there are people who do it every day but do it once or twice a week at least once a week and i promise you you'll probably start seeing like results pretty soon like just it's really noticeable but this will help with that as well um i made some other notes on this uh so we talked about some of the the signs that you could have low magnesium um some of the more serious ones would be like um, i already talked about like the quick exhaustion but some of the more serious ones would be like insomnia um so this does boost your body making more serotonin so it, it is known as like the happy supplement but also it helps you make uh, more of the hormone that allows you to sleep better at night and so um, there's a couple of studies where people were recommended this if they had um, sleep issues and so the studies like were all very very positive and so if you have any of these issues um, this could be really really helpful for you but yeah the long-term stuff if you're short or low in magnesium um, it could be like inflammation blood clots arthritis depression um, I think like different like heart palpitations um, there's just like a lot of stuff it's definitely something worth looking into um, a lot of like if you go on more of like the beauty websites so like vogue.com or I think the last video I made on magnesium um, we were on more of like a beauty website it talks about how it helps you boost collagen and um, the it makes like this barium on your skin this barium <laughs> this barrier and basically it keeps in your skin's moisture and it also um, regulates your oil production and so there's quite a lot of dermatologists that were saying that it helps with getting a glow on your skin because it is boosting your 
your collagen and um, it's more of like when you use like a vitamin C serum like if you're using it repeatedly like every single day for like a couple weeks it basically has about the same effects as that that brightening and um, well I wouldn't say brightening but that glowy look because it's not actually going to like get rid of the dead skin cells but it is going to help you with um, retaining your own moisture so your skin isn't dry or dull and um, there were a couple of dermatologists that mentioned using this if you have hyperpigmentation that it will help with those patches as well but um, overall like there's just so much information on this and so I got into it for hormonal acne to get my hormones um, in check because I do believe that I might be estrogen dominant so I need to find a way to safely keep those levels down and I need to make more progesterone and so this will kind of help with all of them um, and also it'll help with uh, sugar cravings <laughs> and insulin spikes um, all of which I have and um, it's it's doing my skin no help but um yeah i think for people if you have anxiety or if you have depression this is great um especially if you feel like you're making too much cortisol um and it's kind of like one of those fight or flight hormones this completely will take that down so you're not having all of these emotional reactions to things and you can just you know handle your day-to-day -day life better so very excited about that um and then um Today is my first day on the Gymnema Sylvestra. Um, this just came into the mail. I took some before breakfast, but the issue is with this, with most of the reviews I was reading about, is that people said to take it like an hour or maybe like 30 minutes before you eat. So wouldn't just like, unless you're gonna break it open and put the capsule on your tongue, then maybe it would work quicker. But usually you take it a little bit before, you know, you're about to get hungry. And um, I also noticed people did break this up during the day so they didn't just take one dose they took um some in the morning and then some at night and then for like people who have diabetes they took it a step further they took it with every single meal and so i think for me just having the sugar cravings i should be able to get away with just taking it one in the morning and then one at night to keep that under control um the last couple of days or last week i've been kind of crazy with chocolate chocolate is something that does not like me but i was doing that because i knew once i got on this gymnema sylvestra it doesn't make sweets taste good anymore so yeah it's like it kills your curving uh you're craving for snacks and oh another one is a magnesium too a lot of people were saying that you won't you're not going to snack as much because it does um, help you with having insulin spikes and um yeah that just that need for you know more sugar or more snacks and so um both of these i would say be careful with if you're not trying to lose weight there you could possibly because you might not be eating as much and so i would just watch out for that um just FYI, but aside from that, um, I'm pretty excited to see how these next few weeks will go, and um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated.